I'm a professor of law at Harvard Law School. And my work is really, even though I'm a law professor, it's really the intersection of law, medicine, and ethics. So this year, Radcliffe really gave me a wonderful opportunity to complete a book on medical tourism. The book is called Patients with Passports, Medical Tourism, Ethics, and Law. People who travel abroad to a foreign country for the primary purpose of receiving health care. So an uninsured American who can't afford a hip replacement here going to Bangkok or to India for it. Someone from the UK going to Switzerland for assisted suicide or Americans taking young children to uh, China for stem cell therapies that are unapproved here in the U.S. What Radcliffe really excels at that's quite different is the real broad range of people it brings together. There's a real attempt to mix science with humanities, uh, with the arts, with social sciences. Rarely do you get an opportunity as an adult to learn deeply and learn about things you didn't think you were going to be interested in, but it turns out you're fascinated about. Uh, really, it's kind of a, a feast of, uh, of earthly delights to get to learn about all this. And I would have rather had a larger dose of the science or the story, but you know, it's what you're used to reading. The Radcliffe Institute is a kind of uh, uh, connective tissue, if you will, if I can borrow a medical metaphor for the moment, uh, tissue that kind of connects parts of the university where people otherwise wouldn't interact and wouldn't get to know each other. The 18th century French. Okay. In the ordinary course of day-to-day -day life where we're normally so siloed, we don't have the opportunity to even think laterally about all these people we should be meeting and all these interesting echoes of our work.